President of the United States. Having said that, if General Petraeus or the Chairman of the Joint Chiefs, Admiral Mullen, say to you, hey, President Obama, right. if that comes to pass, you cannot take out the final complement of combat troops. We need them in theater. You would say... I will always listen to the commanders on the ground, and I will make an assess uh, assessment based on the facts uh, at that time. Before the surge, as you know, Senator, there were 80 to 100 U.S. casualties a month. The country was rife with sectarian violence, and you raised a lot of eyebrows on this trip, saying, even knowing what you know now, you still would not have supported the surge. People may be scratching their heads and saying, why? What happens is that if we continue to put 10 to 12 billion dollars a month into Iraq, if we are willing to send as many troops uh, as we can muster continually into Iraq, uh, there's no doubt that that's going to have an impact. But it doesn't meet our long-term strategic goal, which is to make the American people safer over the long term. If that means that we're detracting from our efforts in Afghanistan, where conditions are deteriorating, if it means that we are distracted from going after Osama bin Laden, if we have shifted away from the central front of terrorism as a consequence of enormous uh, and continuing investments in Iraq, then that's a poor strategic choice. But talking microcosmically, did the surge, the addition of 30,000 additional troops help the situation in Iraq? Katie, there is no doubt that uh, our troops helped to reduce violence. Those additional troops could have gone into Afghanistan. That money also could have been used to shore up uh, a declining economic situation in the United States. That money could have been applied to having a serious energy security plan uh, so that uh, we were reducing our demand on oil, which is helping to fund uh, the uh, insurgents in many countries. Do you think the level of security in Iraq yes. would exist today without the surge? Katie, uh, I have no idea what would have happened had we applied my approach, which was to put more pressure on the Iraqis to arrive at a political reconciliation. So this is all hypotheticals. Uh, what I can say is that there is no doubt that our U.S. have contributed to a reduction in violence in Iraq.